Morning, morning. Uh, the sun is shining and the weather is sweet. And I'm sure there's a song in there. And last night I launched the first part of the supplier's spotlight, um, which is all about venues. Um, so for me, getting engaged was a really exciting time. It happened at Christmas, um, on Christmas Day. And from that moment, for the next few days and weeks, it was just an utter whirlwind of excitement. Um, sitting on the sofa, telling family and friends, sipping fears and imagining how I wanted my big day to be. Um, and I started to browse the internet for wedding inspiration. Uh, after a while though, reality set in and I realised that not only did I actually have to organise the biggest event that I'd ever done and work and everything else at the same time, uh, but that I had no clue where to start. Um, and I often meet people at wedding fairs and you can tell by the look in their eyes that there is exactly the same point too. Um, a bit like think rabbit in headlights. They have done this exciting thing and now they're just going, oh, reality set in, I've got to actually pull this to life and bring this to life. So this year, one of my focuses, and for many years, um, is to start writing some really useful information for newly engaged couples, which might be like you, um, to help you start your wedding planning journey. And because in my 15 years as a wedding photographer, I'd like to hope that I've probably got a bit of a handle on what it takes to plan a wedding. I've seen quite a lot. So um, yeah, where to start, where to stop, especially when it comes to your budget and letting that run away. Um, and obviously everything kind of in between venues, suppliers, the whole works. Um, but for now, if you're just approaching those first steps of planning a wedding, uh, to give you a kickstart, your first step is to find a venue. Until you've done that and you've got your date and you've got your venue, you really can't do anything else concrete apart from dream and maybe set us endless Pinterest boards. Oh, and subscribe to multiple wedding blogs. And maybe pick up a list of um, wedding magazines and pick up a big stack of those too. Um, the next step once you've found your venue is to book your date and put it down your deposit. And after that, then you can really start to move forward because everything hinges off of that wedding venue from the bigger picture, like the look and feel of your wedding and how many guests will be there, right down to what wedding suppliers you can use because some exclusive use venues have closed books um, and so much more. And I also know that finding the perfect venue for you isn't that easy. Um, it's, you know, I've had the privilege to work at some of the most incredible venues across the UK and abroad. And so not only do I know that there are lots to choose from, um, but in an attempt to help you not have to trawl the internet, I've approached some of my favorite wedding venues and I've asked them to share a little bit more about themselves with you. Um, so that I can bring that information to you. So over the course of the next few months, I'll be featuring each of them in turn. I'll be giving my personal thoughts. I'll be sharing sneak peek highlight videos of the weddings I've photographed there. And hopefully I'll be helping you shortlist whether they might be right for you. Uh, in the meantime, there is a list on the journal of the ones that I'll be featuring with links to all of their individual ones now, if you want to sneak in and have a look. There's stunning exclusive youth properties, stately homes, country houses, barns, farms, um, and so much more. So we will be featuring in alphabetical order, the Deer Park, and we'll be featuring Escott House, Huncham Court, Rockby Manor, Shilston House, and Whitfarm Bath. So um, yeah, hope it's going to be really helpful. And for those of you at the start of your journey, happy wedding planning.